But anyway, I bring up the 299 thing, Will, because Nintendo is actually set to boost Switch production ahead of the holiday season. Gaming, gaming, gaming. It's all about gaming. Mm -hmm. People are trapped at home and people have rekindled their relationship with their various game devices. Mm -hmm. They rekindled it, whether it's going to be Xbox, Sony, or Nintendo with the wildly popular Switch. Nintendo is telling partners to boost production to as many as 30 million consoles this year. And they're trying to ramp up for this holiday season where they think there's going to be a really high demand and they want to be ready to go. The Nintendo Switch, the standard version, $299. They also sell the Lite version, Will, which is $199. So coming in below either of these and certainly below whatever Sony's going to let you get, they... Uh, Nintendo is telling manufacturing partners to boost production to 30 million consoles. The official forecast coming from the company was 19 million. Uh, last month, Nintendo reported a 428% surge in profit during the most recent qu uh, quarter, aided in part by the strength of the Animal Crossing New Horizons video game. Yeah, you can't get that on uh, Xbox or PlayStation. You ever heard of this game? Of course. No. You are you? Oh, uh, I don't play it. You're not involved, but you but heard I know about it's it. Big. It's a big deal. Yeah, I see it on social media. It's a big deal. Yeah. What is the concept of Animal Crossing? You're asking me. Yes. Uh, you're just building stuff, right? Collecting, building. You know how it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, it seems to be a good fit for lockdown because it's one of those kind of very chill, chill, but also. Like you're constantly improving upon. There's no end. It's not a. Yeah. It's not linear. And seasons change. More uh, opportunities for different things. Like I saw happen. people were growing and selling crops. And it's the kind of thing where you can dip in and dip out. And yeah, yeah. you stay Very connected casual. to it for a long period of time. The company sold more than 3 million Switch units and 2.6 million units of Switch Lite as well as 10.6 million copies of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Mm. I remember when the game launched and the lockdown was first starting and people were still lined up over at the GameStop. They want to get that early, uh, that hot new Animal Crossing. Yeah. People were fired right up about yeah. it. Uh, in a period ending June 30th, Nintendo's profits rose to $1.37 billion, more than twice the $71 billion yen that they were expecting. So... By the way, you got to do the conversion on that. 144 billion yen is 1.37 billion. Therefore, 71 billion yen is like, oh, I don't know, 700 million, something like this. I'm sure. just doing some yen conversions real quick. Yeah, I'm sure it's right. Anyway, so they expect things to be big. Nintendo wants to be ready. You have your option. I'm looking at you, audience. You get to choose this holiday season between an Xbox Series S at $299 or a Nintendo Switch at $299, what do you do? Is it going to be Animal Crossing or is it going to be I'll wait a while for Halo one day? Well, you got Game Pass. You got Game Pass. Yeah. You get a lot of games. Relax. Relax.